know, it's day seven and missing home is really starting to hit me. You know, uh, it's not the fact of not eating. You know, it's not the fact of feeling dehydrated. I've dealt with that in, in my life being in the military, but I've just been gone from home so long since I was 20. And, uh, you know, it's when I, when I think about it, you know, the people who love me the most and care about me the most, I'm not there, you know. So it just, day seven, it's emotional. Start, it's, you, that's all you start to think of. I mean, of course, I miss my mom and all my brothers and, you know, the main people, but uh, my girlfriend, soon to be a uh, fiance, is, and uh, her little girls, who I'm really terribly missing the most. She is not only the love of my life, but she is my best friend. And uh, this is what it looks like to miss your best friend. There's a, uh, you know, I'm a man, but men cry, you know, when they when they feel this way. It's just like I said, it's, I could care less about not eating. I've dealt with it a long time. I could care less about sleeping in the woods. I could do it forever. But it's the fact that I'm not doing it with her, you know, it makes it so hard. Survivor tests all parts of you. It tests your soul, your heart, your mind, your strength, uh, your body. You just it, it tests all of you as a person, as a survivor, as someone who can just, I mean, it literally it tests you from north, south, east to west and who you are as a person. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's a tough game all around. You know, this isn't just go, go camping. This isn't a camping trip. You know, I mean, you're starving, you're hungry, you're thirsty, you're missing home. Uh, when I camp, I have my phone or I have some type of writing utensil. If I could just write, I would write Ashley every day that I could because it would make me feel like I'm talking to her, you know. Uh, but the fact that I can't, that's what makes it just horrible. Like, you know, I just I miss, I miss Ashley and I miss Kylie. Survivor is completely different from the real world due to the fact that in the real world, uh, you, you can fix this problem. You know, like, if I'm just a couple states away missing Ashley and Kylie and my family, all I got to do is pick up my phone and call them and tell them verbally, you know, I miss you, I love you guys. Well, you can't do that here. I mean, this, this is, you're stranded on an island with nothing but people who are lying to you and can't wait to backstab you. So, you know, it's and coconuts and snakes and whatever else is out here. So it's just completely different than than being at home. I mean, honestly, I, I've been deployed before, but this is harder than my deployment. As crazy as it sounds, but even on my deployment, I still had Skype. I still had Facebook. I still could use the USO phones, and uh, I, I still could communicate. You know, this is... And not only that, I still got to eat every day. I still got to do these, uh, I still got to work out. I still, I had people who loved me and cared about me next to me, fighting with me. And here you, it's complete opposite. You don't have none of that stuff. So seven days in, we've eaten a couple crab and a fish, a couple fruit, you know, and it's, this is, this is a tough game. I mean, it's, this isn't simple, you know, like I never imagined when I got the call to come on Survivor, I never imagined that it was going to be this difficult. I figured it was going to be tough, but this is hard. More so for me emotionally, that's just the kind of person I am. I'm a very emotional person. I miss my family. I've been gone since I was 20. I'm 27 now, and I feel like I haven't been home for seven years due to the fact that I'm constantly on the go. And, uh, you know, I, I'm going to just keep Ashley in the back of my mind, and when I get voted out, she'll still be in my mind, or if I win, she's still going to be in my mind. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I can just hold it together and, and keep fighting to win and stay in this game and win the million.